everybody welcome back to another Trenton World 4 video from sort of another the string of German stuff continues uh, we're on Bremen Oldenburg and we are in the ICE 1 or the ice one and uh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be heading over to Bremen um, so let's uh, let's get in and get things set up uh, do need to unlock the doors oh there's a 642 from uh, what's that main tail barn that comes from Cool to see it on this route. Um, forward, uh, brake key, change that. Uh, get the AFB and all that good stuff on. Uh, L's a B, P's a B, C for, and the RFB. There we go. Yeah, so the user 40. Um, did we do the brake key? Yeah, we did do the brake key. Get you on. Uh, that should be that. Oh, we got to wait. We've still got the signal yet, and we need to open the doors as well. So that would be also a good idea. What are we waiting for? Is the bridge up? Is the bridge up? Is it? Yeah, the bridge is up. Look at that. Which is really cool. <laughs> So our train's probably gonna be late because of this. Well, unless it's fast, but I think there's two. There's one, one, one down there, and one there. So we can't go anywhere until this is this is done. But it's really cool though. All that. Waiting for the barge to come along, which you can actually change on the, the livery editor. You can sort of make a whole blue barge or a whole green barge. Come on, boats. Be quick. Although boats aren't really quick things, are they? Especially little, you know, boats like this. And we can watch the bridge uh, heading down. Yeah, they call the way it works, though, the um, OHLE. And just in general, the way it's sort of all joins back up together perfectly. <laughs> cool. Here comes the boat. There it goes, carry on whatever it's got on board. And here comes the other one. And hopefully we will then be able to get moving. So we might be a couple of minutes late into Bremen. But we have seen this cool process. Which we don't actually get to see a lot of the time. Because most of the time the trains are timed. That they leave when this has already, already been done. There we are. So that's moving there. Down it goes. And we should then get the signal. And we'll watch this doing the uh, changing. Sort of joining up the uh, OHLE again. And it should then change. There you go, and then this should then come out, or should do. Is it not? I'm pretty certain it's meant to. And I think, yeah, we've now got the signal, so let's get the door shut. Yeah, I'm pretty certain those rods are then supposed to come back out and join up with the, um, they did it on the other side. Right, Bremen next, and what's that? 40 kilometres, bit of a way. Takes a bit of power to get this thing moving. It's a bit of a beast. There we go. Well, oh, welcome to Oldenburg. And we got a 60 out of here. Mm. 
Zoek bij een fles aan. Wat is dat? Well, I had a 60 on it, so... Shall I pop that up? Toothpick? Yeah, there we go. Hopefully audio levels are all okay. Just pop that down a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I'll pop it up a bit. In the IC one. Actually, let's just try and get a shot on the bridge. That's sort of the main bit of infrastructure on this route. But oh, I'm the one coming into Bremen. There's another cool bridge there as well. Let's, oh yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's get some of that. Probably already got quite a few screenshots like that. But you know what? We'll get another one. More the merrier. Going off there to the right, where that go? Oh, to the left as well. Goes off all over the place. And we've got a 120 limit we can go up to. Let's get that up. And let's go. I don't know the top speed on. I think the top speed is 140 on here. No, there is a one. There's a 160 after Damon Horse, Damon Horse. I think there's a 160 there. Well, it certainly goes up to 140 round here. So that's sort of just a, a reminder. Where's the one forty? Come on. One twenty's a bit slow in the IC one. As opposed to going two hundred and fifty kilometers an hour. Right, what are the stations on it? I think one's like Vinster. Windsor, and then Huda, and then Buchholzberg, there's a couple of others, and then Dalmanhorst. <coughs> oh, 160 here, oh, that's good then. Right through the back of the train. Yeah, that will do, right, let's go. Let's get that up on this uh, <coughs> morning service to... Uh, time is it in the morning? 6.48, so not quite rush hour. Not quite. <clears throat> and yeah, this route's, what, a year and a half old? Came out at the end of 2022. And was quite an important one as well, as it bring out the um, m wagon with it. The M wagon uh, with this route and the 110, which wasn't well, wasn't as big as we already had a, a tap changer locomotive, the 155, but still cool. So the main thing about this route was yeah, just the M wagon. in the uh, audio, I'm probably a bit late to test it, I mean just just in case, you're going to get a black screen for about four seconds, yeah it's, it's all fine, see if that, what have we got here, what's that, oh that's, that's a 110, and you've also got the 111 now, which is um, on Salzburg-Rosenheim, which is a much more difficult locomotive to drive. It's right pain the, the 111. So 
So quite a direct route. There's not really much uh, much to it. You sort of straight and then you sort of come down a bit and then you're straight again. Then sort of the little wiggly bit into Bremen. Like you can see the route map. There's not really much windiness to it. It's quite a direct route. the AFP set at 159. Uh, that's alright. Yeah, hopefully everyone is enjoying sort of the string of German videos just as of recording this. There's not really been much out. And we've sort of done the, the majority of things you can do on the UK routes. So I thought, well, I'm not, you know, really too, too fussed about the American route. So let's just come back and do some cool things on the German routes. So doing the ICE services, which are always fun to do. And probably the last time we did one on here was probably, well, a very long time ago. Uh, but going back to what you get on this route, yeah, you get the DBBL110. <coughs> the DBBL110 with the M wagon. Uh, you get the DBBL 425, uh, which is always like there. You get the 425, yeah, you get the 425, and the Press 155. So, in a way, four different trains if you count the M Wagon as a separate one. But that's more just sort of the coaches with the cab car, but uh, sort of four. So you get quite a nice, well, the 155, uh, that's not, that wasn't new when this came out, the 155 we'd had for quite a while on Rossiel Nord. Um, but it was sort of nice to get a slightly different one, an updated one. So I think this is Huda, Huda coming up, which is where you get the um, branch line going off, which is sort of one of those parts of the route where it's just like, why have we not got that? It doesn't even go that far, I don't think, but we don't have it. A bit like on Salzburg Rosenheim, you've got the little branch lines going off, which don't actually go that far, but we don't have it. So then you sort of have a full journey. Might go back up again. Uh, 150, yeah, that will do. Can't wait for the back of the train to wiggle its way past. And there we go, 150. Or even better then, even faster. Uh, let's get that up. 160. There we go. Yes. There we go. So it's quite late. I'm still on my phone, quickly checking. So, um, but it's a fairly straightforward route. I mean, it's not like we got LZB. I mean, that was uh, that would be a lot easier. Um, but it is actually nice driving the train for once. 
As yeah, the IC1 goes on to Bremen Oldenburg and Linker Reinstrecker. And then the rest is on Castle Versberg, where it basically drives itself. I've got from at Versberg. At Versberg, you've got to do something. Oh, that's Buchholzberg. I don't remember the name of that station because it's got Buch in it, Buchholzberg. So there's that. Yeah, there's a couple more stations before like that Damonhorst Damonhurst which is where you start getting some more services joining up. I think it's actually the 612 which then sort of you start seeing. So on we go. There's another station already with another 110. Quite a regular service on, on this route. And there's another one already of the M1 come behind it. Good platforms as well, and then there's one more. It's something camp, I think it's called. Yeah, there we go. So that's not too far along. And then after that, yeah, Damon, Damon Horse, Damon Horse. That's where it gets a bit busier. And um, yeah, sort of the final sprint then into Bremen, almost the direct straight line until Bremen. The other one, Holcher Cam, Cam, what is it called? Well, we've gone past it now. Still 160, so still nice and quick. Which, if you're driving the M Wagon or the 110, I think the top speed's 110, uh, 140, and you really feel that speed. Down to 120. Let's get a fly by shot. Probably end up PZB shouting at us or something, but we'll try our best. No warning boards that way, hopefully. You got the bar on this one as well. Love that. Is that some sort of communications tower there? Well, it almost looked like we were going across there. So I'll say that'll be a bit quick. So I've got a principal station this one. And then uh, 160. Three stations in between here and Bremen. I think three. Freight yard there on the right, but there's nothing in there. 
was meant to be in there. And they've got all the German routes installed, so if there was any sort of freight in there, you'd probably see it. Or any static bits and pieces, yeah, see fair. Let's get another flyby shot. I mean, there's not really much to uh, to do with sort of out, of, you know, one one sixty quite comfortably and quite nicely at the moment. There it goes. I mean, how can you not like German routes? Any people out there who don't like German routes, give them a go. And if you, well. The main thing is try and learn PZB. Yeah, try and learn PZB and German signals. Then German routes become so much more interesting. As prior to you know uh, not loving PZB and CFA, I suppose I found German routes a little bit boring because well, yeah, it's just I didn't really know what was going on. But once you sort of understand PZB signals, you can do basically any German route hudless. Um, and just makes it fun. And the trains are really cool. Like the IC1. And the ice free. Very cool trains. another station. Maybe there isn't. And there's there's definitely one just before you come into Bremen. It's like a big bridge. So it probably won't be too long and we'll start getting warning boards. I feel like there's a 140. Yeah, here we go. Maybe there isn't another station. Or middle station. No, 120. Oh, let's put it down, 120. No, yeah, maybe there's not another. I thought there was three stations, but maybe not. A warning for a sixty. So yeah, we're not too far off uh, off the final bit now. Gonna let that, I'm not gonna put much braking power on for that. I think it does begin quite a way up. So I'm just gonna sort of let the dynamic brake uh, just well bring us down there. Don't need to come down too quickly. Another little twang of the uh, IC horn. And there's where the 60 begins, and we go over yeah, sort of the uh, big bridge into Bremen, and we sort of wiggle all over the place, and then we're into Bremen, hot ban off. Is it, is, it, is it as impressive as the Oldenburg Bridge? Maybe if it lifted up, yeah, but... Yeah. Single yellow, that's not nice. What was it, 7.09 we're doing? So yeah, we are a little bit early, so we might have to come to a stop somewhere along here. minute we do jolt round to the right. That's 
the hell these are weird bits up there. What on earth is that? Floodlights of some sort? Oh, there's a press 155. Oh, that's got the striking blue livery on it. So used to seeing red in Germany, and you just see that. So, ooh, blue. Oh, what a good looking game, though. Just a sort of one of those moments where we're in the ice or zoomed in. Now you've got that sort of 155 come around the freight, it just makes the game look so nice. Especially at this time of day as well. Oh, another single yellow. That's telling me the distance, uh, no, the main signal's not that far off either. So coming around to the right, which then sort of swings us around into uh, Bremen Station. And there is a red light. Oh, look at that, as soon as we literally come to a stop, it's like, right, you can go now. It's the worst thing when that happens. Now, off we go again. <laughs> That's what we went for, the 425 there. Four, two, five. Snake round. Fantastic. Let's see if it yet. Yeah, there we go. Another impressive railway station, and one which we've only seen, a good, well, on this route, we haven't seen Bremen on any other routes as of yet. I don't know what routes could you have out of Bremen. Oh, you got to be bloody joking. Really? It's the most irritating thing, you press it and it doesn't acknowledge. That's the worst thing as well. I don't know what it is, but yeah, you 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 press it, but um, it yeah it just doesn't acknowledge. And then by the time you go to, to press it again, it's like oh, see first blends, blends, and which is quite irritating. the brakes take forever to come off. Oh my god, come on. So that's getting annoying now. It's like, come on. <laughs> Hurry up, move. Nothing of our own doing there as well. Clearly the game not acknowledging me pressing Q. Well, here we are, Bremen. There's a 110 there. Very lovely station. Now look at this. Alright, 
right down towards the end. Leave it, yeah, there we go. Further. That will do. And welcome to Bremen. Pop along, old train though. Uh, well, that is going to be it for me. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed that. That was a run on Bremen Oldenburg. Uh, links to be found all the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.